something that that picked my interest yeah talking about learning all these things like a woman who has known a lot about herself you know yeah uh she can become a bedroom bully right no i not really no in a good way uh well maybe in a good way but also not in a, in a good way because men don't like to be suffocated Mm. Yeah, they don't like they like they like the aggressiveness sometimes the animal instinct comes in and then they want that girl who's ready and nigh and good to have but also they don't like domination, you know, so you have to know your boundaries. Yeah. Yeah, men like to feel like in as much as you can do a bit of that, um not too much of it. Right? Yeah. Um so I think the aggression if I may understand you mean you may be a bully because there's a time when we were discussing with ladies and we're wondering why men lose sexual attraction. How come I'm married to my man? It's been five years, and honestly, he doesn't initiate sex anymore. He, it's been one month. I have that a lot now with most married women. Do mean I'm staying with a man who doesn't touch me? It's been nine months now, and you're thinking, by I don't know men like. Could they be meaning by touching it? He doesn't initiate sex. Women are still waiting for men to be the ones to initiate sex alone. But also that because uh, women feel desired when a man, uh, the traditional sense of it if a man touches me then he desires me and then we are good to go because women we um when we look at the pleasure gap most women thought or felt if they initiated sex they would be considered slutty by their husbands yeah so the traditionally married women still wait for their men to initiate sex but guess what it gets boring for the man it's too much work it's exhaustive when he has to be the one to initiate sex all the time you know, and so he wants a certain uh, form of, um, of, of of autonomy. Um, so the initiation bit uh, gets 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 off. But when we're looking at some of the reasons why these men have lost attraction, yeah. we found that uh, communication is one of the reasons, and the way women communicate to these men. Yeah. There are, we have different personalities. There's some women who will tell you the truth as it is. There's those who know how to use euphemism. There are those who know how to wait it out. So there are people. There are women who cannot wait. You know, like they they can't even breathe. They speak. They you touch them badly. They tell it away. You know, they will. They, then there are those who will just hold it up a bit, wait for the moment to end, find a good moment and tell you, um, I don't like this and this and that. Yeah. So we found that our communication and when it happens puts men off. So, mm -hmm. let's take one step back yeah. and talk about, have you figured out, so we are going to be talking about um, sexual pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, could you background a little bit on, on what it is, yeah. you know, mm. and why it is important, mm. right? Mm. Uh, and then we will go into communication. Mm. But first of all, I want to ask you, uh, because you you had an overview of what you want to tell the world because i believe this is going to the world what what when this is all done yeah what do you want them to go home with when this is that's a very good question thank mm. you when this because that's one of my biggest my my driving force is sensual sovereignty my driving force is for people to own their pleasure own your desires know them understand how they feel give them the right language learn the language of expressing them so own your sovereignty stop walking around based on what media thinks is good sex um stop um you know like suppressing your urges and your desires thinking that they are sinful or they are wrong right um stop probably taking them into the wrong channels a man who is married will not express his wildest urges to his wife because he's still confined under certain values and beliefs so for me the takeaway should be sensual sovereignty mm. yeah and 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 the underlying um you know like theme for me for all my work is own your pleasure Take back your power, own your pleasure. Then you decide. You have agency. Like I always mention, you decide. So then you can be able to consent. You can be able to express. You know, you can be able to, um, you know, to express gratification or to express the lack of gratification. You can be able to say, I need. You can be able to say, I desire you. You can be able to, you know, like to not feel guilty to tell your man how much more you want or for, for, for you to hear a man tell you how much more he thinks about you and he wants you. I think one of the things that is very difficult for us to, to, to hope over mm. as Africans yeah. or as Kenyans, or yeah. probably as Ugandan South Africans, yeah. uh, 
and whoever will be watching this series hmm. is that how do you how do you you know bring together these things i'm looking for the word which i can find hmm. um for example the church is telling you this your religion is telling you one thing hmm. and you're feeling another thing yeah and probably your husband is telling you the other thing that mm. okay why what are you suggesting is a bit slutty and mm. i and is wondering why did you learn all these things again mm -hmm. that you want to practice on me mm -hmm. you know mm. so how do you how do you gosh i can't find this word can you find it for me um I, i think there's no word but you're trying to bring the challenge and the problem yes yeah because yes. we are touched to different aspects of life yes we are religious people or spiritual people um we have values we have grown up with certain values we still believe certain things and until we have the right information those things are true and right for us we come from certain cultures where certain things shape our way of thinking and therefore appreciation of sex or pleasure break the mold is the question yes that's the word great it starts how with how to bring harmony yes to what that is feeling yeah your fantasies yeah What the, what the Bible is telling you, yeah. what the what the cult, what culture is telling, what the mm. community and the society is telling you. Yeah. Yes. So first, you have to feel free within yourself. You have to give yourself freedom. Without freedom, you're still going to be held. You have to feel free. Then now you create awareness. First, learn before you can want to rebel. First, understand. You know, um, if you understand, church did this, and this was the purpose. Maybe church was protecting me at a time when I didn't understand how to use ABCD, ABCD. Why did church bring this about? Because church is a social arm. We have, you know, church manages societal, um, you know, aspects and all that. Church gives us ideologies to go by. So church governs. We cannot um, underestimate that. So how much hold church has on you is up to you. Because then church for me is, a, is an ideological place, right? Spirituality is very different. So how much freedom you get is based on you. Doreen can't give you freedom. She will only give you information. Your wife won't give you freedom. She will only express her desires. So what we need to give people is, in as much as I know you don't like kink, I'd love to tell you my fantasies. So give me the openness. Listen validate my desires and tell me as much as you say that i'm not sure i will enjoy it so let's take it step by step and i see how it goes and then we give each other the freedom if you try it and i don't like it i'll say i don't like it yet it's not pleasure for me it doesn't give me any aspect of gratification i know i will allow you to do that but it doesn't give me the same that it gives you right the yes. breaking of the mold mm -hmm. is, is 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 just now the process you you admit that i don't know this i'm looking at it in the concept of marriage or um, partnership um you have your partner and your partner doesn't understand some of your desires and you want to communicate your urges your wild urges because pleasure includes the capacity to be able to respond to the stimuli of an urge mm. right um so if i have that i'd like you said there's these things i feel because feeling is important for me i feel so we can't take away the fact that this the emotion is there the desire is there the desire is an emotion right i feel so what we do with that is then now what comes in the concept of a partnership or a solo um relationship so now if i have a partner and i want to communicate an urge a fantasy a desire that probably he's not, never known about me i need to give myself that freedom but what i would need from my partner is him to be able to be receptive and hear me out and validate my feelings and then be open to trying out but also be comfortable to tell me i don't like it i should be able to be comfortable in knowing i could have some urges that my partner doesn't have right but then now how do we break away you know that's not christian like i remember these times when we we're talking about doggy and people are like um i also saw in the podcast and people are like no you can't i can't give a blowjob to somebody and all that i'm like oh my goodness <laughs> We have molds to break, you know. Yeah. Uh, we just need to educate people because then without information, that's when people still have the, no, it's not good, it's not good. We have the automatic negative thoughts that just drive us into fear. Yeah. What, As, what do you think is going on through the mind of somebody who is saying that I don't want to give a blowjob to, to my boyfriend? 
um, because I also saw those comments. Yeah, I, mostly on uh, on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think what's going on one the fear of the fact they won't do it right. That's what I find in bridal showers. Mm. Um, because men love oral sex so much, women are scared they may not know how to give it. Then women don't know how to take rejection, right? Yeah. So when a man says, I oh, know I don't like it when you fondle my balls, she takes it that he's rejected her. She doesn't understand he's giving information for her to keep trying until it feels right. About those balls, by the way, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Uh, people have seen it in... in in porn but i don't think mm. a lot of men and my friends are not all stay away from them they have they are not very are you asking us to stay away from them or is it that you want us to to do them differently i think that's the thing <laughs> i think that's the thing so how are they done <laughs> that you don't like I don't, what is it that you don't like is it that you don't so, you know the pressure. Okay, you don't like pressure on the them. The pressure on them, especially when you are you you are you are having a hard on. Okay. You know, balls are very are overly sensitive. Mm. You know, mm. and basically, I think women just don't know how to handle those too. Yeah, you know? that's true. You know, when they know that when the phallus is stiff, it yeah. should not be you know that way very fast. You yeah, know? it's got a lot of veins. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, that's very true. Sometimes we don't know how to handle the different parts because we've not understood, like you said, we need to really look at both the female anatomy and the male anatomy because I also understand that women don't understand their anatomy properly. Yeah. You know, because if you don't understand your anatomy, if you don't understand your anatomy and I don't get feedback from you, because also women complain men don't give feedback. Yeah. So I'm down there doing work and I'm not understanding whether what I'm doing is right. So if you don't give me feedback, I will worry I'm hurting you. Because then tomorrow if you refuse, I'm not sure what did I do wrong. It could be a small thing. So men need to be able to learn how to give feedback. Whether the woman... Cause what kind of feedback? The feedback of, I like that. Oh, really? Do, yes, we like it. Because we you like it when we give you that feedback. Uh -huh. When you go down on us, when you're giving us oral sex, we tell you how we feel. Or we should tell you how we feel. I'd like to be able to tell you if uh, the way you're, 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 you're touching my clitoris feels right, if um, I want you to stay a little bit longer, if I want to glide a little bit below, if I want you to use the fingers, your glide tongue. Glide a little bit below. Yeah, you know, like what I need. What does that mean? Because you could be touching a part and then there's a part that is calling for more of your touch. Ah. So if I give you. It's complicated, you it's like engineering. No, it's not. It's like it's, but you see, it's not, it's not your body. It's my body. I keep saying, <laughs> just, I keep telling people, if you don't give people information, it's like entering your house and I don't know where the, the lavatories are. Hmm. So I can't just walk like a, like a bat around How your house. How many do you think a woman's vagina has? They are multiple. Now, I hope that you're enjoying